just putting up the timer because I like to keep time with that <laughs> myself. So hi, everyone. My name is Aista, Aista Rogivichuta. I'm from La Rochelle University, and I work in partnership with the Square Research Center. Um, this paper, this project, little project, has been done in uh, collaboration with Vincent Courboulet from La Rochelle University, and uh, you all know Lawrence Hilty from University of Zurich. So the, uh, the title is, as you can see, the research landscape of ICT for sustainability. So what exactly we're talking about? So first of all, a little bit of context, a little bit of motivation. Um, as you might have noticed, recently we have uh, quite an emergence of different papers, academic papers, academic debate, when it comes to talking about ICT, digital technologies in uh, with relationship uh, to sustainability or sustainable development. All is good, very optimistic, very positive. However, that means that there are tons of papers, there are a lot of emerging new communities which talk or investigate the same or similar questions, but maybe from different perspectives. So the question we asked, how can we try and structure that research, that amount of research, in order to identify opportunities and wide spots in this interdisciplinary research landscape and hopefully allow different researchers also to bridge gaps. So we structured the paper in three questions. Again, it's 10 minutes, it's not much to present, so I do invite you to go and read it. But the first question is about, well, what do we talk when we talk about sustainable development or when we talk about sustainability? A quote which I absolutely love from Lewis Carroll. When I use a word, it means just what I choose. It means neither more nor less. So that's how it is with sustainability, right? Um, and sustainable development. So in our paper, we, uh, we argue that there are two different concepts. And sustainable development is a normative political concept, um, which basically means making sustainable use of the planet by people under the condition of intra- and intergenerational Justice. Um, what is justice? Of course, it is highly disputed in ethics, um, especially when utilitarian views are extended into the future generations. But here it is. That's uh, currently in, in, in our paper, we adhere to this um, definition. And when we talk about sustainable development, of course, we talk so often about three pillars ecological, economical, and social. However, these pre three pillars can give rise to a rather simplistic view um, that the goals are interchangeable, that the, the trade-offs can be done, and uh, there is a new or a different, uh, it's 2017, so it's not very new anymore, the donut economics model, uh, which is a different way of looking at sustainable development. And the idea yesterday was already spoke about this concept, so the idea is we, we do have to try um, to live um, in the safe and just space for humanity, which means that respecting planetary boundaries and respecting some certain social foundations. Um, we believe that this presents a little bit better social uh, ecological systems view of thinking, and also what is an advantage of using this model that at the front, it's the well-being of humans instead of uh, GDP as a, as a main measurement. So that's uh, for the first question in terms of what kind of sustainability, sustainable development theories we could use when we talk about ICT and the impacts of ICT. However, the second is, question is how can we conceptualize the various impacts of ICT on sustainable development? So actually, how can we Okay, so we, we selected sustainable development, a uh, certain theory, but actually how, how do we talk when we talk about um, ICT effects? So probably most of you know there is first, second, third order, there are different discussions. We are not the first ones who are trying to think and in terms of uh, how we can structure the relationship between ICT and sustainable development or sustainability. Um, very often these discussions uh, are focused only on the environmental path, uh, uh, side. So the more um, socio-ecological point of view um, is way less um, discussed in the literature. Here is the last model proposed in 2015 by Ilti and Abisher. 
And uh, they talk about life cycle impact, enabling impact, and structural impact. So it does take into consideration both environmental and ecological, uh, more or less to one or, or, or other extent. However, we believe that this model could be actually even more extended and uh, elaborated, and especially when we talk about how we can structure um, the research within the fields of ICT and linking to the sustainable development. A couple of observations and more in-depth discussion could be found in the chapter. Um, so first of all, well, there is certain misalignment of ICT and sustainable development agendas. When we talk about SDG goals, um, it's a rather techno-solutionistic uh, view. The second point is what I said uh, just before, that uh, a lot of times we talk only about environmental side and forget social side, or it's the other way around. There are scientists who look, uh, especially those who are looking in techno-critique, um, they look mostly in the social side and they do not take into consideration um, the environmental side. On top of that, what we argue, so in the donut economic model, we have in the middle that um, safe space, right? How can we go into that safe space? We believe that it is about decision-making. It is about how we govern the processes. What are the policies? What are the strategies? What are the values? So all that type of discussion currently is also not really existent in, in the current uh, frameworks or models. And then the third one, there's, of course, there's all the question, okay, what kind of tools, how can we propose, and how can we advance that interdisciplinary research or um, allow different type of research communities to find synergies between each other? So that's what we propose <laughs> uh, in a nutshell. Um, this is the idea, so on the, on the vertical side, we have direct design enabling systemic effects. So they are based on the LS, uh, LES model just presented previously. We did introduce a new layer or um, a new type of, of design effects. A quick note on enabling effects, we're not talking only on about positive effects. It is in, uh, in both sense. So, it applies to all effects, but I think uh, the word enabling can sometimes bring a connotation that it is only positive, but no way. It's both clear. The idea is that we're talking about both. It's just about how, what are the effects from usage of the technology. And then on the top, so we have on the horizontal side, we have um, the idea of donut economics brought in. How does it work? So when we talk about different type of effects, um, in our research, do we talk about impact to society? Do we include impact to environment? Or actually, do we talk about decisions? Again, processes, strategies, policies, how we make those decisions in order to stay in that safe and, and, and just space, and how those decisions, strategies, the governance processes, how they impact um, society and environment. So the third one, question which we asked, okay, so we arrived with some kind of conceptual model. Can we actually try and explore how it could be used? Um, so what we try to do as an uh, exercise, so it's only an example, right? But trying to map some research communities on that uh, ICT for us landscape and see where it takes us. So that's uh, eight examples. In no, um, in no way we are trying to be exhausted in this list. Um, but the idea is, well, it is complicated. It is complicated, it is complex, and uh, it's uh, based, the position here is based, of course, on our first subjective view, but also on the literature review. It depends, we looked into existing systemic um, literature reviews proposed by the communities themselves. Um, where that existed, but for example, ICT and ethics is like it's a it's a big blob because it's very difficult to identify what exactly a community it is. Um, but the idea is basically there, right, to say that okay, as a research community or as a researcher, when I'm asking my uh, question, certain question, what exactly I'm trying to cover, what type of impacts on what, is it possible that I could or we could bridge a gap and go and look for 
maybe ideas, answers, or collaboration with other different researchers. So as I said, this is, no, this is not an exhaustive list. It's just an example. Um, there's also, we hope that if researchers use this and position themselves, it could help to structure um, the whole, the, the landscape which is becoming more and more complex for everybody. And it could help to bridge certain communities as well. And uh, uh, maybe we haven't explored that further, but so it's an, maybe it's a next step uh, to explore if we could actually also find potential research gaps. So if we look into a particular theme which interests us, can we find that all these uh, um, little boxes, they are filled by some kind of research existing, or is there something where it's underdeveloped? Can we go further there in order to foster that discussion between ICT impacts on sustainable development? Um, so final thoughts. So the donut model, we believe it uh, allows to integrate sustainable development agendas with human first when discussing ICT effects or well, well-being first. Let's, it's nature is there. Um, the existing academic discourse tends to unfortunately isolate ICT impacts to society from impacts to environment and to overlook the impacts that occur via the changing decision-making policy strategy process. Um, and the proposed ict for s model could help to bridge research communities and may be useful in screening for potential research gaps. Thank you very much.